Hi, dears. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It's Anna with you here, and today we are on our terrace. And the noise that you are hearing is basically the rain. It's raining outside, although our terrace is covered, so it's fine. But the weather is not very nice, although it's very, very fresh. This is why we're here today. I wanted to breathe a little bit of a fresh air, finally. So, for today I have quite a few news for you. One of them is not really good. Um, you know that we've had a decrease in cases and especially the index of people getting sick was also decreasing for approximately 50 days, more or less, until today. For today, the new um, numbers that we were given from the Ministry of Health are not very pleasant and very positive because Yesterday, we had approximately 4,900 um, cases for one day, for 24 hours. And for today, we already have 6,092 cases. The index is also going up. Uh, yesterday, we had 127. And for today, we have already 130, which is also not very good news, to be honest. We are right now in the area of the curve of the wave where we are very, very down and it's kind of a plain area, you know. So from here we have two options. Either we start going down once again a little bit more or we start going up and this is when the fourth wave will come. Oh, starting to get windy. Mm. Anyway, so... Um, we have two options, but basically um, all, almost all the experts say one thing, that it's probable that the fourth wave will come because it is already in a lot of different countries in the European Union. Um, although they don't say it might be that bad as the third wave was, probably it's going to be a lot softer, but still it's a fourth wave. So right now when we start different tourism, a lot of people from... Um, Germany can already visit our Valencian community because we have a very, very low risk right now at the moment. Um, they visit Balearic Islands and Canarian Islands as well. A lot of different flights start to uh, be programmed for the end of March, beginning of April, for Easter from different countries like Russia, um, Germany and a lot of other different ones, France, for example. So we don't really know what's going to happen, to be honest with you. I don't want to say that everything will be fine because we don't know, basically. Um, what we do think is that the situation won't be as drastic and as bad as it was during this winter. But it's very, very probable that the cases will start increasing again. Until where? Until which point it's going to be? We don't know. But hopefully it's not going to be as bad because we're still proceeding with the vaccination and a lot of different countries do. And the weather, apart from this weather, which is normal, before the true weather, summer weather starts, which is, which is going to be at the beginning of April. Before then, we usually have one week approximately of rain, so it's normal for us. So yes, basically, basically this is what's happening with the situation right now in Spain. Uh, probably in the next few days, we will be able to see with a lot more of clarity what's going to happen here. And then I'm going to definitely let you know about it. Next news about here from Spain is that the tourism basically is only living and trying to hold on for uh, vaccines and this um, green passport and green certificate, which basically is going to be here in European Union uh, for all countries in Europe that will say that you are safe to travel and which will um, save you from the need of getting the quarantine when you arrive to the other country or the need to spend your money for the PCR test. Um, yesterday, if I'm not wrong, the European Union Committee has presented the first plan, the first like um, somehow uh, example of this passport. And they've said that they need approximately three months to prepare it and to make it ready to use. But we don't really have three months. Uh, Spain, Greece and Italy, for example, they've said that they need this passport sooner than later before the summer starts because they need to start with the tourism very, very soon in order to avoid shutting down a lot of different hotels here. Because all these countries are the countries that basically live most of the tourism. 
to be honest. So um, this passport, they've already said that it's going to be free of charge. So no one will need to pay any money to get this certificate. And it's going to be in two ways. First of all, it's going to be like a paper certificate, which you will be able to obtain from your social security and from your medical health center. And the other one is going to be a digital one, which probably you will have to download like a link or an app or something like that, where you will have a QR te uh, like um, like a scan that you when once you go to the airport you'll just scan it with your phone and that's it it will contain all your personal information like your name last name date of birth um any kind of other useful information your address where do you come from um if you've passed covid and you have the antibodies or if you were vaccinated with two doses and you've completed this cycle it's going to contain everything and um, Spain is hoping actually for the best. They're hoping to get this, this passport ready by summer because if not, it's going to be very, very difficult to control. And by, um, by asking and forcing people to pay money for the testing and by forcing people to have a quarantine, um, not many people will be traveling, to be honest. People want to travel uh, safely. They don't want to think about all kinds of different issues. They just want to relax. Basically, this is what people travel for. Um, well, the majority of them. So if people will need to think about the money they'll need to spend for the testing, about the quarantine, they just don't have any more necessity to travel. They just don't want to travel anymore. This is the sad truth about it. So hopefully this situation will get better. And uh, even though we we'll, might have a slight increase in cases, um, soon the tourism will revive once again. Hopefully this will be the case. Everything will depend on the vaccination as well, because um, Spain was always telling us that the massive vaccination will be in April, which it is going to be. Uh, but that the total um, immune, like people immunized, the majority of them, 70%, uh, which is necessary to be able to return to new, like normality, how they call it, will be by the beginning of summer, which is not going to be that way. Um, the experts say that it's only possible to achieve this goal by the end of summer, not beginning, not midsummer, but the end of summer. So we'll see what's going to happen. Here in our Benidorm region and in Alicante region, they've already announced us that there probably won't going to be any hogueras. These are like bonfires that we celebrate every year. Last year, we didn't celebrate them either because of the whole situation, you know. Uh, so this year um, in June, we usually celebrate it in June uh, on uh, approximately 21st, 22nd of June, depends on the year. Usually it's on weekend. And we celebrate the beginning of summer and the beginning of swimming season. Uh, this is the day when a lot of people just uh, gather on the beach, on the seashore and make small bonfires and sit with the family, have a little snack or dinner outside and just celebrate that it's the beginning of a good weather and summer. This year, they've said that everything will depend on the vaccination. Once again, everything depends on the vac vaccination right now. Uh, which is which is normal to be honest because all countries all governments are looking at this because they cannot permit themselves to have any more cases and any more lockdowns uh, especially Spain they just don't have that much money to support that once again so they've said that depending on how the vaccination will go and the cases will go either they so they have two options one is postpone the bonfire the bonfire festival and make it probably in June, July or September, depending on how the things will go in summer. Or if it's not going to be that good as they expect it to be, then they will put it for next year, 2022. And in this case, it's going to be already two consecutive years that bonfire wasn't celebrated here in our region. Hopefully it's not going to be the case. <laughs> Uh, also, um, wanted to let you know about the different festivals that will be here in Spain and in our Valencian region. There are a lot of them which are very famous, which are Low Festival in Benidorm, for example, and Medusa Festival and a lot of uh, other different ones that are celebrated here. Uh, especially the Low Festival in Benidorm, which you know a lot of people are interested in going. Uh, 
the people who had tickets from last year but couldn't go because uh, the festival was cancelled are able to go this year with the same tickets from last year. You don't have to pay anything extra. These tickets will be valid. But all the other ones who want to go this year, good news for you because the festival is not cancelled as for now. And our authorities of the Lensing region still believe, strongly believe, that this festival will be able to be, get celebrated. Uh, this is at the end of uh, beginning of August, if I'm not wrong, which we still need to confirm the exact date of it. I think I have it here somewhere. Let me check. Yes, it's going to be in the beginning of April, of August, sorry. So this low festival is going to be at the beginning of August. And um, up until now, they already authorized these festivals, a lot of different ones. There's going to be a few in Valencia, one here in Benidorm, the Medusa Festival as well. Uh, there's going to be some in Javia and Denia, so in a lot of different parts of Lensin region, which is very, very good. People need it, and especially these are open air festivals. So the risk of getting the virus or getting sick is not that high as it would be in a closed area. So hopefully, even though, as I've already said, the cases might be increasing and starting to increase, the situation is starting to get kind of ugly once again. But we are staying positive, which is the only thing we have left. Stay positive and um, hopefully we'll see very, very soon positive results as the vaccination process is going forward. And uh, as more and more people are getting sick, the less is the... Um, the option that there's going to be more and more cases because people are getting naturally immunized. Um, these are all the news for today, my dears. What about the weather, as I've already mentioned? And as you can hear, i will get you a few seconds so that you could hear it. There's going to be, uh, be rain during all day long today. Tomorrow, starting from midday, there's going to be rain as well here in our Valencian community and in a lot of different regions in Spain, as you can see in this map. As for now, we have all the Valencian region covered in rain and the north part of Spain. This is just for today. For tomorrow, more and more parts of this, um, of this part of Spain will be covered in rain. And there are also yellow alerts due to rain here in Valencian community. And due to high wind and waves in Andalusia, so this is the south part of Spain, in Catalonia also, and on the north part, as well as in Balearic Islands, which are Mallorca and Menorca. Uh, the, this is basically the front, Filomena, that um, came here. We thought it might not come or the situation won't be that um, bad, as they've said, but it is here. It came and uh, we have... Quite a few days of rain here expecting for us. But this is actually very good for the nature here in our region because after this, the warm weather will come back again and will stay with us up until November. So the rain is very, very much needed. The temperatures here in Spain, as you can see in this picture, are decreasing as well due to this same rain. And um, basically they are decreasing on the north part and our Mediterranean area south part is maintaining temperatures just for now. In the north part, it's going to be from 1 to 15 degrees. 1 degree is going to be in the mountains area. And there's going to be an option of snow once again in the middle of March. The center of Spain will have from 4 to 13 degrees. South part from 14 to 21. As I've said, this region is not really affected by the bad weather as for now. And the Mediterranean area will have between 11 and 19 degrees. Here in Alicante and in Benidorm, they say that we'll have approximately 15, 16 degrees. Benidorm more towards 15 because right now, um, to be honest, the temperature is about of 12 or 13 degrees outside. Although I must say that it's very, very fresh and it's very comforting breathe this fresh air. In uh, all different regions, in Barcelona, for example, it's going to be 15, in Granada, 18, Malaga, 18, Sevilla, 21. In Madrid, in the capital of Spain, in the center, it's going to be 14 degrees. Murcia, only 12, because there's going to be rain as well. In Balearic Islands, 17, in Canary, 21. They have a very, very nice weather right now, without any rain, just sun 
and there's not going to be any strong wind there so they are very lucky right now and valencia which is basically one and a half hours from here going to the north from us will have 14 degrees there it's going to be slight rain as well these were all the news for today my dears i hope you enjoyed watching them and you got to know something interesting and new for you thank you all for watching and don't forget to share these videos with your friends or relatives and don't forget to subscribe because I've noticed that a lot of people that are watching me, almost 80% are not subscribed to my channel. So don't be lazy and go and click right here to the button. Thank you all. I wish you a very, very nice day of today and see you tomorrow with a new video. Bye.